disclaimer. Please do not attempt any of the processes and methods in this video. Feel free to use them in star stables, but do not use them in real life without a professional's advice or point of view. Thank you, and let's get on with this video. my channel. I'm super excited to bring you guys this video as it was definitely a journey to get to this point with Millie. Millie is my 14.7 hands purebred curly horse mare. I got her from an auction about a month or so ago and she was just getting broken in. So this is basically a recap on her journey as a sort of a memory where I can look back on this video and look at how far we've come together. So without me being coming sappy, let's get this video going. I started a routine with Millie the day she came home. She's a very trusting mare and has a very calm demeanor, so it was easier to get her into a routine. I let her settle in and tried to make everything seem normal for her to get used to. The next few days were filled with lunging and spending time in the paddock together when I wasn't busy with the other horses or lessons. After a few days of building a trusting relationship, I started seeing how far her old owners went with tacking up. I put on the saddle pad and she seemed alright with it. I walked her around with a halter on so she could get used to the feel of the saddle pad and it moving. Then I started with the saddle. It took her some time to get used to the girth tightly around her. When she didn't like it, I took it off. She started to like the saddle more and more, so I finally started leading her around with it. Finally, she was okay with the saddle pad, saddle, and the girth, so I started on the bridle. Millie was already fine with the halter and the lead rope, now she just needed to get used to more straps on her face and the bit. She hated it. 
completely, full-on hated it. She was fine with the straps, but she hated the bit. For days, I struggled with her hate of the bit. I tried using honey on the bit to make it not taste like metal. I tried changing the bit, but nothing worked. Until one of my lesson students suggested to me to try bitless riding like she did at home with her pony. And without the bit, Millie finally accepted the bridle, and I could finally tat her up fully. Millie was a very fast learner, and within three weeks, she was ready to start learning how to have a rider. I started hopping on and coming off, throwing my weight on so she could get used to the extra weight on her back. She didn't usually enjoy the extra weight, but after time she grew to understand that it was just me. After about a week of doing this, she was ready for her first ride. I lunged her fully tacked up before I got on, just in case she needed to get out some bucks before I got on. I wore my body protector and my helmet, of course, just in case anything happened. I started with a walk, using my leg to see how she would react. I started moving around the reins to see what she would do. We then picked up a trot and I started sitting. She was completely calm. She seemed to understand what I was doing and was not scary at all. So I started with the posting trot. And we just went on like this, sitting and posting and then walking and a few things like that. We worked together in the arena, and I even got to lay out some poles. She kept kicking them at first, so I got off, led her over it a few times, before she realized she needed to pick up her hooves. We worked together over and over in the arena, a lot of days and finally I knew it was time to take her on our first trail ride. I took her out of the arena after our daily ride and rode her on the beach and then through the big grassy area behind Graceland. We walked, trotted, and cantered and it was amazing. She is doing so well. Millie's father was a hunter-jumper star, so it's basically in her blood. Her old owners did express how glad they would be to see her follow in her father's uh, hoof prints, I guess? I don't know. So I started her in hunters and jumpers. Teaching a horse to jump is hard, so I started using poles in our lunging lesson to get her used to it. I then started using raised poles in our rides, getting her to raise her hooves higher.
Finally, she was ready to do her first jump. It was amazing to finally jump on this horse after all the time it took for us to get to this moment. It felt amazing. She was calm, cool, and collected and listened to me over the jump. She tucked her legs perfectly and yes, maybe she overjumped it, but she's still getting used to it. Two weeks of jumping and I put the jumps higher each week. She's jumping now around three to four feet and is doing pretty well. So yesterday, I took Millie to Golden Leaf Equestrian Stables where they had a hunter jumper course set out for a few days. It had loads of cool aspects like a brick wall, cross country jump, and a water jump like we have here. So here's a little ride. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms. Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back A couple dials We should throw them out Because time ain't as well But you feel Millie's training. I'm super happy with how well she turned out, and now I might have a chance to get us to the pony finals. It's a slim chance, but it might happen. Anyways, this means I will try to get Millie into more shows, maybe do some clinics with her, I don't know. I'm still in disbelief that I basically just broke in a horse. I mean, I sort of did it with Belle, but she was already trained. She just needed to be reminded how to act. Technically, Millie is the first horse I've ever fully trained, and this was amazing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!